we should grow in knowledge. To grow in knowledge is to grow in understanding. To understand what life is, to understand this purpose of coming to this world, to understand the cycle of birth and rebirth, to understand what really truth is and how to live in truth. Every seeker wants to go to the state of ultimate experience. Blessed are few who achieve that. And to achieve that ultimate goal, the highest goal of human life, which a devotee tells to be united with one's own beloved, when one yogi tells to be in the state of nirvikalpa samadhi, when a path of, a person adopting the path of knowledge is telling to go to the state of nididhyasana, to go to the state of turiya, the fourth state, turiya. Here, says Patanjali is telling, when one is growing in prajna, growing in knowledge, one passes through seven stages. What is prajna? Prakrustena jnayate iti prajna. Prajna akhya tattva jnana nimittat. What is prajna? It is speaking of tattva jnana, spiritual wisdom with experience. Punsa karjya mukti, karjyat vimukti. One should be passing through such stages that one will be free from all types of egocentric activities. Kartabhya samaptihi, there is nothing more to be done. Or one doesn't consider anything as one's own duty. So long as we are body conscious, so long as we are body conscious, we are also conscious of our own parents who gave birth to us. So long as we are body conscious, we are conscious of food, rest. So long as we are playing with mind or mind is dominating us, we are infected with or we are affected with likes and dislikes. So here it is said that it is the state of freedom from two things, freedom from activities, freedom from duties. Does a realized person have any duty or not? The answer is no. He has no duty. But we have seen they are engaged in activities and as if they have duties. It appears like that. It is just their love, divine love. Just, just like a mother loves the baby, feeds the baby with her own milk. It is flow of love, nothing else. 